here in the North Bridgers, we're finding a really variable snowpack. It's really deep in some spots, really shallow in others. A uh, few things, though, that, are, that, it, that, it, that the different spots have in common is, in some places, I can push my pole down, and the snowpack is about as deep as my pole is long. And in these places, there are weak facets at the ground, similar to what Doug found on Saddle Peak. There's a big, cohesive slab in the middle. It takes a lot of force to get those facets of the ground to break. In other spots, the snowpack is about this deep. In those cases, it's just all facets, very weak. But even there, there's not much of a load on it, so it takes quite a lot of force to get those to break. On every slope, however, we have a thin layer of near surface facets. Uh, this is a more southerly aspect, so we have a crust here. We have facets both on top and underneath the crust. And we're finding that on all our slopes, with or without that crust. So, what will have to happen is we'll have to get another storm. If we get a big dump of snow, we'll see definitely see avalanches on this layer. They might step down to the deeper depth core. Otherwise, if we just get the little incremental loading, I think it's going to sneak up on us. And it'll just be a matter of how quickly we can build a slab on top of this weak layer here. So what's your point? <laughs> My point is we're just going to have to wait and see what happens.